the debt ceiling. I know you, you, your position hasn't changed on the 14th Amendment. You guys have a position on this trillion dollar coin business? <laughs> uh, I would simply go back to what I said. The option here is for Congress to do its job and pay its bills, bills that have already been racked up. Um, you know, we saw what happened last summer, summer of 2011, when Congress flirted with the idea of default. Didn't even go all the way to default, and yet the impact on our economy was severe. The impact on average Americans was severe. We had the uh, lowest uh, job creation in the month of August 2011 of any month during the recovery, and the reason is because of what House Republicans uh, did that summer. Now, we, we can't do that again, so let's not even pretend that that's an okay scenario. Let's just ask Congress. You, on the 14th Amendment, you flatly said you do not believe you have that power to be of the 14th mm -hmm. Amendment. Do you believe you have this power to mint There is no plan B. There is no backup plan. There is Congress's responsibility to pay the bills of the United States. This is not about future spending. Right, we will have that debate. We will continue to have the debate about how we, uh, the budgets that we design and uh, the path forward in deficit reduction. And the President's that? principles in this matter are very clear. Uh, you know, there, are, there is no alternative to Congress raising the debt ceiling. It's its responsibility. Congress has to pay the bills of the United States. That is uh, a, an obligation they assign to themselves. It's a little evasive in your answer. I understand. <laughs> but I mean, is, are you leaving? Are you Never trying to be leave? true. Are you trying to leave room or not? Leave Look, room? there is no substitute for Congress extending the borrowing authority of the United you States. This is a, an option, viable, I, unviable. I, I think the only I'm option here, there is no backup plan. The only option is for Congress to do its job. Only rule it out. <laughs> Again, like you could speculate about a lot of things, but there, there is, there, not, it, nothing needs to come to these kinds of, you know, speculative notions about how to deal with a problem that is easily resolved by Congress doing its job, very simply. And then, you know, coming back and and having the discussion and conversation and negotiation and debate about how we continue to bring down our debt in a way that's responsible in a way that allows our economy to grow, in a way that protects the middle class, uh, in a way that continues the 54 months of job creation that we've had during this recovery. Uh, you know, that's the conversation and the debate and the negotiation uh, that uh, is correct to have. That's the conversation and negotiation and debate that the American people expect us to have. They don't expect Washington, and in this case Congress, and really in this case one House of Congress, to do enormous harm to the economy for partisan reasons. I want to 